the following question is about moles and combustion analysis and uh, the question states that you have 0.2 moles of a hydrocarbon which undergoes complete combustion to give 35.2 grams of carbon dioxide and 14.4 uh, grams of water as the only product so so complete combustion is undergone uh, there's a hydrocarbon that is uh, being burned so hydrocarbon contains carbon and it contains hydrogen and we're not sure how many carbon it's going to have so let's call that cx so there are x carbons and there are y hydrogens and we're going to burn it completely with oxygen so that's o2 and it's going to produce two things one is going to be carbon dioxide co2 and the other substance that's going to be produced is going to be h2o water would be produced so these are the products and the reactants of the reaction now one thing that you need to do is whenever you have a combustion analysis question you need to balance the equation so if you and you have to balance the equation in terms of x and y so if you look over here there are x carbons so if there are x carbons they are going to be x molecules of carbon dioxide so that carbon dioxide or or the number of atoms of carbon are balanced for example uh, and always think of and we're going to try and uh, compare it with an actual hydrocarbon let's call that c286 and that's reacting with o2 balancing would be easier if you compare it with an actual hydrocarbon so it's producing co2 and it's producing h2o molecules so we're going to side by side try and balance that equation so you can see that if there are two carbons over here there would be two carbon dioxide molecules on the other side so in a similar manner if you have x carbons over here they're going to be x carbon dioxide molecules and now we're going to try and balance the hydrogens so if there are six hydrogens on the in the hydrocarbon to balance the hydrogens there would be three water molecules so as you can see that if you have six hydrogens the number of water molecules is half that it's three water molecules so if you have y hydrogens the number of water molecules are going to be y divided by two so i'm going to compare it just to uh, just to clarify this six hydrogens so there are three water molecules now the hydrogens are balanced so if they are y hydrogens they're going to be y by two water molecules now balancing oxygen is the tricky part so let's try and balance the c286 first and balance the oxygens over here so uh, there are two carbon dioxide molecules so that's two into two four oxygen atoms so that's four oxygen atoms or we can uh, write that as two multiplied by two oxygen atoms in carbon dioxide so we can do the same we multiply two by two so if there are x carbon dioxides so it would be x into two that would be two multiplied by x oxygen atoms in carbon dioxide and similarly if you have uh, three water molecules that's three into one that's three oxygen so that's three oxygen atoms and three water molecules so if you have y by two water molecules that would be just y by two oxygens so that's y by two oxygens so the total number of oxygens over here the total number of oxygens over here that's four plus three that's seven oxygen atoms and over here if i try and count the total number of oxygens over here that would be that would be 2x plus y by two oxygen atoms over here now uh, if you have seven oxygens how many o2 molecules would be equal to seven oxygens that would be equal to 3.5 o2 molecules would be the equivalent of seven oxygen atoms so as you can see what i did over here is if you have seven oxygens i divided seven by two so that i had 3.5 oxygen molecules so if i have 2x plus y by two I'm going to divide that by two to get the number of oxygen molecules that would become if two x is divided by two that's x if y by two is divided by two that would be y by four so i'm going to have y by four o2 molecules so now i have a balanced equation in terms of x and y so it's cx hy reacting with o2 that's x plus y by four o2 it's going to give me x co2 molecules and y by two h2o molecules and remember this equation needs to be remembered uh, you can either balance it when the exam comes and you can balance it 
or learn how to balance it but it's really difficult so always remember whenever you have a have the combustion of a hydrocarbon an unknown hydrocarbon try and remember how to balance the equation in terms of x and y the unknown hydrocarbon is cxhy we don't we don't know how many carbons there are and we don't know how many hydrogens there are so in terms of x and y this is a balanced uh, combustion equation for a hydrocarbon now we have a balanced equation of the combustion of a hydrocarbon and unknown hydrocarbon so if you have and what the equation tells us is it gives us the ratio if you have one mole of hydrocarbon it reacts with x plus y by four moles of o2 and it produces x moles of carbon dioxide and y by two moles of water now you're given some information in the question that information is that you're given the moles of the hydrocarbon which is 0.2 moles we're going to use 0.2 moles so you're given what the question states is that you're given 0.2 moles of a hydrocarbon and it undergoes a complete combustion produces 35.2 grams of carbon dioxide so so 35.2 grams you're given the mass of uh, carbon dioxide and what we can do is we can we can um, divide it by the molar mass of carbon dioxide which is 44 carbon is uh, 12 and two oxygen that's 32 so moles is equal to mass divided by mr and we can find the moles which comes out to be 0 0.8 moles similarly you're given the mass of water as well which is 14.4 grams so mass is given 14.4 grams and we can divide it by the molar mass of water which is h is 2 and oxygen 16 so that's uh, 18 and this also comes out to be equal to 0 0.8 moles now as you can see we have figured out the moles of the hydrocarbon we figured out the moles of carbon dioxide and we figured out the moles of water that are being produced and but the moles are this in decimals and we need to figure out a whole number ratio so what we go, we're going to do is we're going to divide uh, everything by the smallest so to get a whole number ratio so i'm going to divide everything by 0 0.2 0 0.8 is going to be divided by 0 0.2 this 0 0.8 is also going to be divided by 0.2 and this uh, what this would give me is it's going to give me that one mole of the hydrocarbon 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 is one mole uh, is going to react and produce uh, four moles of CO2 and four moles of H2O. So 0.8 divided by 0.2 is 4, 0.8 divided by 0.2 is also 4. So according to the information that's given in the question, uh, in terms of whole numbers, one mole of the hydrocarbon produces four moles of carbon dioxide and it produces four moles of H2O. So now I'm going to remove uh, the working that we just did for clarity so let's remove that and compare this with the moles that we uh, found out using x and y so according to our balance equation if you have cxhy one mole of that substance x plus y by four moles of o2 react and produce x moles of co2 and y by two moles of h2o so if you have one mole of a hydrocarbon now we have one mole of a hydrocarbon it's producing four moles of carbon dioxide which basically means that uh, this x over here is going is basically equal to 4 so x is equal to 4 moles or 4 and y by 2 is basically equal to this y by 2 over here according to our balance equation one mole of hydrocarbon produces y by two moles of h2o so y by two moles is basically equal to four moles because according to the information that's given to us one mole of the hydrocarbon is producing four moles of h2o so uh, this y by two is equal to four so since y by two is equal to four that would give us that would make it y would be equal to rearranging that that would be equal to eight so hence the final answer is that x is equal to four and y is equal to Eight. So your hydrocarbon over here is going to be C4 because X is 4 and H would be 8. And you can make a balanced equation using this and you would notice that it gives you 4 moles of CO2 and 4 moles of H2O. So the final answer is C4 and H8. And this in the above options is going to be option D.